Hey guys, teacher, episode 10. Like, guys, you guys are freaking crazy. Do you guys know that? Like, y'all are legit fucking crazy. Like, I was up all night to make sure I did those videos for you guys. And you guys are like, uh-uh, girl. You need to add more. And I'm like, girl, can I sleep? Y'all like, girl, barely. Get your lives together. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll let you change her eyes, mouth, nose, face. Ever. Oh, okay, but will you not be able to change her hair? Oh, her color of her hair. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I understand. You were you were a funny girl. Okay. Seductive arch. This is my go-to look. Looks good. Eyes. Um. Turned up. That's my go-to look. Face shape. Well, I guess she got an okay face shape. Yeah. Her mouth. Mm. And her nose. Her nose. Let's, let's see. No. 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 Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah, she's good with the regular nose, I guess. I don't really like the fact that I can't change her hairstyle. I don't really change shit but her eyes. <sighs> Oh, hi, Sam. Darn it. I wanted to surprise you, but when my dad called, me, I almost didn't recognize you. Definitely gotten older. Everybody keeps telling me you got older. Bitch. Bitch say you didn't glow up. <laughs> Clearly the bitch didn't get cuter or something. I had a hard time finding the right words to say. His uh, manly mess distracted me more than I thought it would. <laughs> also, the fact that I'm noticing how handsome he is and his manliness, his muscular body, surprised me. I've never done that before. I've never noticed how extremely good looking he is. Wow, I'm definitely not a kid anymore, and I'm pretty sure that normal people wouldn't get inappropriate. Thoughts about someone may consider a brother. I guess the whole big brother feel has turned into an attraction. <laughs> That's so gross, girl. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. I know a lot of girls who've felt attracted to their best friend's brother. I guess I'm no exception now. Wow, I don't know what to say to him. Just say welcome home. It's good to see you again. Welcome home. Thank you, man. It's good to be back again. We've all missed you. I've missed you, too, so much. I'm so happy to have my brother home again. I'm sorry I haven't been able to visit you. Things have been crazy in Africa. <laughs> but things have finally started to get better, so I thought I, it was time to go home. Are you going back again? I'm not sure yet. I've been offered a job in New York, but I'm not sure if I want to accept it yet. Why not? That would mean you could move back here and we could all be together again. We could be a family again, Sam. I know, Kelly, but I also know that people in Africa really need my help. There are so many good doctors in New York, but only a few in Africa. Shit. I have to figure out this <laughs> this out. I have to figure this out by myself. I hope you understand. Of course, I know helping people is your passion. I don't want to get in the way of that. I think well, that's our dinner. I'll get it. Oh, I haven't been home for more than a few minutes, and I'm already screwing things up. 
think about your family. Honestly, Sam, Kelly has really missed you a lot. I know she has. Right before you got here, she also told me about how afraid she was that things has changed between you and her. We're, um, we're kind of the only ones she got, Sam. I won't tell you what to do, and I know the people in Africa need you, but I know Kelly needs you too. I know I feel terrible for leaving her, but being a doctor is not my only passion. It's my call, and it's who I am in. I know, and we all admire you for that, but I just, but I'm just asking you to really think about it, okay? For Kelly. I will. Thank you for the advice and for being such a good friend. Kelly is lucky to have you. I'm lucky to have her. She's got a big mouth, but she's the greatest person in the world. Yeah, she's definitely lacking the filter. Tell me about it. Dinner, it's ready. And then she was back with the smile on her face. There's no doubt in my mind. She just I painted it on. Fantastic. What are we having? Pizza. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've been craving <laughs> Luigi's Pizza for, for five years now. Please tell me it's from Luigi's. They're from Luigi's. Oh, man, you girls are the best. We didn't talk about Sam's um, decision anymore that night. We just wanted to celebrate and have fun. As far as he... Um, wait, so far, he's told us that he was planning on staying until graduation in a few months. And then he'll have to make his decision. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Later that night, I needed some air, and I I needed some air, and I thought they needed some alone time, or some time alone, so I thought I'd text, bitch text Will, girl, fuck Daryl, what's that going on that thing, girl, you need to be <laughs> getting your potential love scene together, honey, Will in here, what he's doing tonight. Hey, well, you there? Why, why, why would you text him? Is he there? Obviously, he got his phone. So, a bitch, if he ain't there, he gonna be there eventually. Hey, butterfly. Yeah, I'm here. I'm glad you texted me. I'm glad you replied. <laughs> what are you up to? Oh, nothing much. I'm just reading a bit. How about you? Cool. What are you reading? I'm at Sam's welcome home party. Remember? It's just an um, an article about the pink phantom butterfly. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. How's it going? It's cute. It's going really well. It's, it's so good to see him again. I just went outside to get some air, and then you thought of oh, and then I thought about yeah. It's not cute, Mia. It's manly. Remember, <laughs> really manly. Hell oh, no, no. Um, you were thinking about me. <laughs> Don't get a big idea now. Otherwise, your graduation cap won't fit. But yes, I mean a big idea, a big head now. Otherwise, your graduation cap won't fit. I've been thinking about you a lot since you returned. Haha, ha, I won't. I've been thinking a lot about you too, Butterfly. Stop calling me fucking Butterfly. That shit is <laughs> stressing me out. The last part made me blush. She's been thinking about me too. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to hear what you were doing. I'll let you get back to your pink phantom article. Good night, well. Good night, Mia. Thank you for texting me. Have fun. There's something different about him. He's not like other guys I've met. Well, girl, I mean, you are not to talk me your whole fucking life, so. What are you doing out here, Mia? Aren't you cold? Well, you, I got on a whole leather jacket. Maybe a little. I was just getting some fresh air. I thought you and Kelly could use some time alone, too. It's very thoughtful of you, but you shouldn't be out here. You could catch a cold. That's definitely the doctor talking right now. I'll be fine, Sam. Well, then let me at least uh, get you my jacket. Sam, you don't really have to. 
but he had already stepped inside. Sam, you didn't come here with no fucking jacket on. Here you go, man. You gonna put a jacket on my jacket? He took a step back a while looking me from top to bottom. Like he was taking a, taking in the view. His jacket was nice and warm and it smelled of him and his cologne. It was a fresh, clean scent, but not a hospital st sterile kind of way. <laughs> it was a very pleasant scent that was very suitable for Sam. A thing I've always liked about Sam is how respectful he is. Maybe a bit old school, but the word could be uh, could use more old school. I'm sure. What the hey? What's going on, sugar? Sam's a gentleman. He's always been very respectful towards women and very polite. Hey, where you going? He, he definitely knows how to impress women with his chivalry. But it's like he's not even trying. It's just the way he is. He's a care. Yeah, he put a tooth right here. What you talking about? Thank you for the jacket, Sam. That was very nice of you. You sound so surprised, too. I think she's hungry. Look. Feed her. Give her some more. Okay. I'm so sorry that you're... Uh, I'm, wait, I'm so sorry that you young ladies <laughs> are not experiencing common chivalry much anymore. Boy, get your ass out of here. I think we're used to it. It's kind of more like a girl are chasing guys nowadays. We don't really need to do much to get us anymore. Actually, the more of an asshole they are, the more the girls want them. It's messed up. It's embarrassing, to be honest. True. At least you're living proof that it's not dead yet. Well, maybe it's, it's because I'm a bit older. I'm a bit more old school. Child, I don't chase niggas. They chase me, girl. <laughs> well, I really like that about you. He stood there for a moment, just oh, we stood there for a moment, just smiling at each other. Can I say you look beautiful tonight, or would that be too inappropriate? Flirt, girl, flirt. <laughs> Get these, get your roster going, girl. <laughs> I don't mind you saying that at all. Thank you. I don't think it's inappropriate. I'm not a kid anymore. And you look really good, too, Sam. I haven't even gotten the chance to get out of my scrubs yet. I actually think that is contributing to a contributing factor to your you're looking good. Thanks, Mia. He. Uh, he licked his lips as he cleared his throat, suddenly looking serious again. I guess funny with your sister's best friend, whom you've known since she was five years old, was something to take in slowly. I was hoping he wasn't regretting doing it. Is there something you'd like to ask him? No. It's recommended that you ask him all of these questions. Um, okay. Sorry, Sam, but I don't remember. How old are y'all? Oh, I didn't expect you to remember me yet. It's been so long. I'm 25 years old. What the fuck I'm talking about all you goddamn grown ass niggas? 25. Got it. Thanks. Do you want to ask some more questions? Yeah. Let's see. I'll figure out. Come on now. Um. <coughs> what the hell was that? Okay. <clears throat> What's your favorite part of being a doctor? Why do you do, uh, why do you love it so much? Well, obviously I love to help people and to feel like I'm making a difference in the world. But I also really like the technical stuff. I love getting really use, uh, getting to really use my brain. I understand that getting challenged at every day at work is also something I hope to be someday would you like to study cooking <laughs> <laughs> my ass I was really tired <laughs> cooking oh shit 
that really that sounds really interesting. I can definitely see you do that, Leah. Thank you. Let's ask some more questions. Um, boom. Have you met someone special in Africa? No, I don't. I have a few good female colleagues, but we're only friends. And I don't like to mix business with pleasure, so I would never date a, pa a patient. What in the fuck? Okay, I understand that. That's very professional of you. Thank you. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Wait, can I go back? No. Nope. Well, <laughs> I think we should get back inside. Kelly must miss us. To be honest, I think she's kind of hoping we'll hook up. I bet she is too. Kelly has always been a hell of a match, a matchmaker. But yeah, let's get inside. After you, my lady. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> he, he. He gently put his hand on my lower back, guiding me inside. I don't think he, he even realized how attractive he is. <laughs> he probably only did it to make sure he was ready to catch me if I tripped through the door. <laughs> to be a gentleman is like a second nature to him, so I'm pretty sure he didn't mean anything by it. But still... The spot where he placed his hand sent a million lightning bolts up my spine, girl. <laughs> there you are. Was it getting too cold outside? Actually, it was getting too hot. Are you serious? <laughs> I knew Sam was joking with Kelly. I knew he wanted to see her reaction. Of course we're serious. Right, beautiful? <laughs> But even though I knew he was only joking, it really got to me. Play along. Let's play along. I decided to play along. I wanted to teach Kelly a lesson, so she needs to stop with the matchmaking. I ran my hand across his cheek fl <laughs> flirtatiously. Right. It only took a moment for us to realize our chemistry was more than friendly. Sam held my hand on his cheek and smiled romantically at me. <laughs> For a moment there, it almost felt real. Yes! I knew it! I knew you were always meant to be. We're going to be sisters, Mia! This <laughs> bitch is too geeked. <laughs> she is too hyped. <laughs> but then we couldn't hold it in anymore. We're playing. We're playing you, Kelly. You need to stop with the matchmaking. Really? That's cruel, guys. <laughs> That's what you get for playing with the fire, Kelly. I still think you'll get together someday. <laughs> Sam and I looked at each other as she said that none of us were denying that the possibility. Oh, shit. Laptop almost fell. No, no, no. Laptop, no. Damn. Um, we had a really great night. Sam was very humble by our walk, humbled by our welcome home party. There wasn't no, don't gathering, bitch. There wasn't a party. But it was getting pretty late and we were all tired, especially Sam. He had a really long day of traveling. So it was time to head home. I could see the lights were out in Daryl's room, but he left the lights on in the rest of the house. It's probably. Probably so that I could find my way around the house. I haven't exactly mapped out switches yet. I thought it was considerate of him. Oh, well, it's either that or he's just too lazy to turn them all off. Mm -mm. What the fuck? I just got inside and the alarm goes off. Scaring me half to death. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mia. Ugh. I'm so sorry I forgot to tell you to disarm the alarm. It's okay. It's still new for you. Remind me to give you the code. Girl, yes. Look that up and down, child. Yes. 
<laughs> there he was again with his way too perfect half naked body out there. <sighs> Once again, I couldn't take my eyes off him. I could feel myself getting hotter and he obviously noticed. See? See something you like, Mia? <laughs> Wouldn't your ass love to know, girl? <laughs> Okay, uh, oh yeah, okay, I'm about to play the next episode of that, girl. All right, y'all, enjoy that, enjoy that, enjoy that, enjoy that.